How's it going, guys? My name's Slick. Welcome back to another video. This video, I'm going to go over some changes to my PVE setup since my last guide. That guide still has a lot of good information, so if you haven't watched it yet, there may be something in there that will help you out. I have found a setup that I think is much quicker and much more consistent when clearing mobs, and I really am excited to show you guys this. So it completely replaces the old method of using missile to pull mobs and you know gather the camps up and then aoe them down this one literally all you're gonna need is your left mouse button and your right mouse button you can throw any other abilities in there if you want but that's literally all you're gonna need for this build so it is going to require you to have at least one or two epic skill attributes preferably two um which at this point in the game if you already passed level 40 you should have at least two already if not, then don't worry about it. You know, you're going to get those growth quests and you'll be fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you my current stats. Uh, nothing too special here. I try to put a lot of focus into the accuracy. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to compare the two just so you can see the difference in them. You know, when I went back to the old setup, I felt like I was really, really lacking. I just felt like the clears were much slower. Yes, I could grab packs easier with this build, but the clear speed and the efficiency just felt like it was way lower than the new build that I'm gonna use. I did try to keep it fair, and I cleared both as quickly as I could just so I could provide you the clearest proof that I could on the difference in the clear speed here. Now for this new setup, all you're going to need to do to get your clear going is if you're running the crit rune or the attack speed rune in fate, which you should, roll, you know, get that attack speed or crit up and then just start firing. You don't know, just start melting them down. Uh, when your energy goes down, use that piercing shot. After that, you know, if you need to use any other abilities to break any CC that the enemy's building, go ahead and do that. I personally use bombardment for that because it's a quick, easy cast to hit that stiffen. Um, after that, that's literally just rinse and repeat. Just rinse and repeat. Make sure you're using your tab. Please, please use your tab. That will make your clear even quicker. Um, I know that I didn't cover that in the last video, but using tab off of cooldown while you're clearing is a must. I also recommend, since you have tab, keeping piercing mortar on your hotbar. Even if you only have one or two of the skill attributes on there, using that will be fantastic just because it casts almost immediately when you have tab active. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and put the two builds uh, side by side on the screen. Um, you can see both of these. I'll put both of them in the description if you wanna look at them yourself. You know, change some stuff around, see how many skill attribute points I have. You know, you have may have more, you may have less. So moving forward, these are gonna be tips for everybody past level 40. All right, this is not just going to be for the gunner class from this point on. So all tips will apply to every single class. So I'm going to mention again, get 233 fate in your runes. It is fantastic. It is one of the main things that you should be pushing for when you're looking for rune slots. After getting fate 33, you will then work on getting all of your runes to base 12. It only requires one level three rune after you get to fate 33 in each category to get to that point. Now I wanna go back to something that I mentioned in my previous guide. I was mentioning a place to get the fate runes. Uh, thank you, wreck it for correcting me. It is the PVP trials in the Hall of Honor. It is not the Transcendence Dungeon. You can find that here. I'll go ahead and put up a video or a picture and show you where that is. So thank you very much, wreck -It, for correcting that, and I apologize for providing the wrong information. These trials will provide you with a level three fate rune on the first 11 stages. 
The devs even know how powerful the fate runes are. That's why they're giving them to you for free. So keep that in mind going forward. Next thing I want to touch on briefly is gear. Now, a lot of people are very worried about gear. And like, where can I get gear? Where can I get gear? Don't worry about it so much. Gear will come as you play, okay? The quest line at level 42, the main quest line, gives you a purple secondary to replace that blue secondary that you got. And it has the same six rune slots. I would recommend you absolutely use this, especially if you're wanting to get the Fate 33 and get all of that free power. All right. Now, I'm not saying don't go grind for gear. You can look on the map, click on a zone, and it'll tell you exactly what drops there. But I want to say don't worry about it too much. Save your resources until you get that really good piece of gear. Don't feel like you need to rush in and, and waste your enchantments just to get a piece of gear stronger because you feel one of them is holding you back. All right, the last thing I want to touch on in this video is make sure you are doing your daily dimensional portals and your weekly portals. When you're going into the menu, pay attention to what rewards you're going to get when you go into those specific ones. And for your weeklies, make sure you are checking the active time so you can get in there and use those 10 hours you get every week. Once again, thank you very much for watching my guide. I really hope it helped anyone in any way possible. Elyon just fully released today, so I hope everyone's having fun, and I hope you were finding a class that works best for you. Please feel free to leave any comments, any criticism, any feedback in the comments section, and let me know if there's any information that you feel you would like me to cover in any upcoming guides. If you're enjoying these periodic updates, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell. Your support would be much appreciated. Happy grinding on Elyon. Peace out.